The best vehicles currently in the Volvo lineup are their S40 sedan and V50 wagon. This week I've got the stylishly hip V50 with the optional T5 engine and all-wheel drive for an MSRP of $29,615. Introduced last year after the successful launch of the sedan, the V50 wagon receives only a few tweaks for 2006, including a push-down function to engage reverse in the six-speed manual, new and improved cup holders, and the 17-inch Scotia wheels available with the optional dynamic package. The rest of that $1,895 package includes go-fast looks with front and trunk lid spoilers, a lower rear valance, side sill moldings, and lower door edge moldings. Add the passion red paint, and all of a sudden, the V50 is transformed into a sports wagon with tuner appeal. I'm glad to report that the same can be said from the driver's seat, where the 2.5-liter turbocharged 5-cylinder gives the V50 boosted life despite its unremarkable output of 218 horsepower. Just like the S40, the V50 benefits from McPherson struts and a multi-link rear suspension, keeping the car glued and body roll free in the corners. My car also has the all-wheel drive system, which eliminates the availability of the dynamic sport suspension, which is available on the other front drive V50 models. Gas mileage is rated at 19 city and 26 highway on premium fuel. The interior is highlighted by the free floating center console that houses the radio and HVAC controls and allows for storage behind it. Seats are covered in something called T-Tech, inspired by wetsuits and rugged outdoor gear for a sporty feel and look. Leather is also available. For being a small car, space is efficiently used with comfortable seating for four adults and a well-carved cargo area that's wide and tall and able to eat a lot of stuff. Volvo likes to think they own the wagon segment, and the V50 certainly furthers that assertion. With sport wagons gaining popularity against the typical small SUV, especially with young families, the V50 provides the combo of luxury, sport, versatility, and all-wheel drive in a sub-$30,000 car that young professionals can embrace. And of course, Volvo leads with safety first, so you won't pay extra for things like side airbags. That sort of security is standard with Volvo. For me, the V50 is a sweet blend of fun and practicality, and it's built on a new platform that's much more solid than those of the other aging veterans in the Volvo lineup. With options, my tester adds up to $34,470, so it can get very pricey, seeing as how you can get a much bigger VW Passat wagon with a V6 and 4 motion for less. But if you want small package style and handling, the V50 will satisfy your needs. For Drive Time on Car TV, I'm Steve Hammes.